In physics class we learned, the energy of a system never vanishes. Energy is not lost, it merely takes on a different form. Electric power, meaning electric energy, is converted into light and heat energy inside a lamp. This principle of energy conservation is one of the fundamental laws of physics. Basically, this principle also applies to the global energy cycle. The energy in this case is, among other things, provided by the sun in the form of heat and by the moon in the form of gravitation. In the atmosphere, part of it is converted into the energy of motion and, for instance, passed on to the ocean. Other parts, on the other hand, are radiated back into space. In other words, the energy Earth receives is converted, but it is not lost. Climate models created by researchers, however, do lose and regain energy over and over. As a result, these models actually can deliver false results. What is the reason for this? This is the topic scientists are currently examining in the interdisciplinary project called Energy Transfers in Atmosphere and Ocean. Oceanographers, meteorologists and mathematicians are collaborating in this project with the aim of arriving at a better understanding of the energy exchange in the climate system and to be able to develop more reliable models. To achieve this, the scientists are in particular conducting research into the oceans and the atmosphere's vortices and turbulences. We are all familiar with them. Whenever you add cream to your coffee, you'll see little vortices form until the liquids blend into each other after a while. When computing ocean currents, these vortices and mixing processes play an extremely important role. However, it is still unknown how exactly the energy generated by the processes is transported into the oceans and the atmosphere. Turbulences and waves play important roles in all types of motion. They are all following different laws of physics and are interlinked with each other through numerous complex processes. The goal of the joint research project is to enhance the knowledge of the energy transfer processes in the atmosphere and the oceans and the subsequent improvement of climate analyses and forecasts. After all, we know for sure, energy does not disappear.